before I begin, this is not towards Craig McCracken at all. This is not towards the company who I've been working on the Wonder Over Yonder show. This is going to be about how I feel about the cancellation of Wonder Over Yonder. I don't know how to feel. I don't know if I should be angry. Should I be upset or sad? I mean, I don't feel angry, so that's a good thing. But... I don't understand why Disney would cancel such a wonderful, very imaginative, and very creative show like Wander Over Yonder. I can't believe I left the internet for a while. I go on a few times once in a while, but I can't believe I leave the Wander Over Yonder fandom for a while because I've been distracted by other fandoms so far. And then I come back and I realize the show is going to get canceled. And I'm... And... And they just came out with season two! What is going on? I heard it gotten... Wander Beyonder was the best kid show that got an Academy Award. And all of a sudden, it's getting cancelled? It has high ratings, and the fandom is getting bigger than ever. Why would Disney want to give up on this show? Even Craig McCracken himself said that he had written down all the stories of Wander's past. He made backstories for the characters. He was inter introducing new villains. And he was going to... And he pretty much wrote down a lot of stuff for season three. He was prepared for it. And then, and then Disney just turns around and just... Like, says to his face, like, oh, you have enough episodes... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I can't believe they would do that to Craig McCrack... M Ugh. I can't believe they would do this to Craig McCracken. This shocks me as a huge fan of his work. I grew up with the Powerpuff Girls, Fosters. I grew up with Dexter's Laboratory. I grew up with pretty much all his cartoons. And I loved them all. In fact, the Powerpuff Girls is what inspired me to draw today. I am still a Powerpuff Girl fan. And hearing this from an artist, a, a childhood animator that I loved growing up, growing up loving, one of his cartoons is getting canceled just because his bosses said, oh, I'm not angry with him. I'm not angry at the crew. I'm not. I'm just so. I'm just sad about this. Wander Over Yonder is a show that brings positivity and a great sense of looking on the bright side of things. This show. This is what this show is about. This show has brought an inspiration on a lot of people. If you're a Wander Over Yonder fan, you understand what the show's about. If you're new to the Wander Over Yonder show, this show brings happiness, and it shows you how to be a much more positive and brighter person because we need that in our lives when we're feeling down and upset. And I can't believe such an amazing show like Wander Over Yonder is going to get canceled. Uh, I... I don't know. I don't have the words to describe how I'm feeling. Like, I'm not angry. I just... I don't want to feel disappointed. I don't know if I am feeling disappointed. I am upset. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a lot of things right now. I've been going through a lot of rough times in my life. And it's not only other fandoms that make me happy, but Wonder Over Yonder has made me the most positive person. Made me think of the most positive things because of this show. This show is amazing. I love this show. 
I love Wanda as a character. Sylvia is, is my most favorite character. I love Lord Hater. I love Peepers. I love all the characters. This show, it, it may be for kids, but uh, it just teaches us to look on the bright side of things. There's, it's always sunny somewhere. Just look above the horizon and never look back. That means something. I, I can't believe this show is canceling. There's so... M it's not that only because the show is canceling, but Craig McCracken had everything planned out for this show. He had so much to give for this show, and Disney just turned around and threw it in his face. I appreciate animators who do their job because they love to do it. And Craig McCracken had a whole plan to give us a season three, even the crew as well. He had everything written down, backstories for these characters. He was giving more character to these characters. And it would have been awesome. I I haven't seen more of season two yet, but I saw the first episode and I'm already loving it. Despite that I'm all, I've only seen one episode so far. I've watched all the episodes from season one. And, and, I'm really upset with Disney right now that they did that to him. I can't believe they would turn down such an amazing show from a very talented man. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to act like Craig McCracken is the only good animator or very good artist or storyteller. There's a lot of good ones too, but I just hate the fact that if a person creates a show and they don't even have a story written down and they get a lot of views and they get a lot of credit just by going with it without even having the whole story written down, it's a bunch of garbage to me. But with people like Craig McCracken, even Rebecca Sugar with Steven Universe, she has the whole story written down already. And she's has a plan to finish how to finish the story. Well, Craig McCracken did the exact same thing, and it's not fair that he doesn't give the credit he doesn't get the credit that him and his crew deserve. I hate when people work so hard to, and offer something and they end up getting garbage shoved in their face. I mean, that makes me mad. That is what makes me mad. Like I said, I'm not mad at Mr. Craig or the crew. They're just doing their job. They love doing what they're doing. Which is why Craig said in his comment that he had everything planned out and all of a sudden Disney had to turn around and throw it in his face. And I don't know how he's taken it. He seems calm about it, but I would be disappointed if that happened to me. If I created a show that everybody loved and everybody was so desperate for another season and I had a whole story and I put so much thought into it and hard work into it and I am excited to make another season to make my fans happy. And if that happened to me with the whole I can't air it, even though I've worked so hard on making this story, I would be upset. It's like crushing your dreams. You work hard for something and then you end up not getting your dream. That's what it feels to me with this show. Especially when it comes to people who work hard and want, and want to actually success because they love doing what they're doing. Oh, this makes me, like, I don't know if I'm feeling angry or sad or I'm, I'm feeling a lot of mi mixed emotions about this. <laughs> Wonder Beyonder is such a good show. 
It's so good. It shows a lot of positive side. I was struggling a few years ago when Wonder I've been I've watched the show ever since it first aired on TV. On ever since the first episode, I fell in love with it. How I found out about Wonder Beyonder was I was I was looking back on Lauren Faust's uh journal and profile because I follow her. I love her art. I love her art. And that's when I found out she was married to Craig McCracken or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but and she was posting a journal about Craig McCracken making a new show. And I'm like, oh my god, I love Craig McCracken's work. And when I saw the poster, I felt like, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna like this show. I saw the opening I was hyped for this show. I was excited. I'm a cartoon fan. I love cartoons. I watched the first episode, the pilot episode. I fell in love with it. I can't believe this is happening. I know I'm getting upset over a cartoon, but I hate the fact that someone with a lot of talent, like Craig McCracken, who has done so much and put so much effort into this show, and was and even planned on making a uh, making season three about this. He even wrote down everything, and then Disney just turns around and just throws it in his face like that. I'm very disappointed in Disney. Very disappointed. I can't believe they would turn down something like Wander Over Yonder from an amazing and very imaginative man. Like Craig McCracken. Craig McCracken is a very, very, very talented guy. He's worked with all sorts of your childhood cartoons. He's worked with a lot of shows you grew up with. Amazing shows. He's a very good story writer. And the rest of his crew are. And even the people he don't really work with anymore because they work for Cartoon Network. <sighs> Please. Don't end this show. There's... This show has given me so much positivity in my life. <laughs> Wander may not be my favorite character, but I still love him. But he's up there in the list of my favorite characters. He is up there because he is a great character. He's a very big inspiration. And I can't believe something so positive, something so heartwarming, and something so, so bright would be taken away from us just because of, ugh, I'm just, this is terrible. I'm, I respect the decision, but I really do, but I really hate what they did to Craig. I don't mean to sound like a baby. I mean, I'm getting a little over dramatic, but Wonder has been an inspiration on me. It's kind of like with Sonic. Sonic's taught me to not give up and live life freely and and be free-spirited and do your own thing, do your own make your own choices. Be happy doing what you want to do. And Wander has taught me, no matter how life, how difficult life is, 
No matter how hard life can get, think of the positive side. And I hate negativity because I can be a negative person. I am a grumpy negative person a lot. Just because of what I've been through in my life. And wonder has taught me to see the brighter side of things. I'm... I don't mean to sound desperate, and I'm sorry if I do, but... And I don't want to force these creators to do what they don't want to do, but it seems like they did want to make a season three. And I can't believe they worked hard and had planned everything out and even was going to give more details to these characters and their personalities and to their stories. And then it had to be... And I feel like they had to just give up on it and throw it all away. <sighs> Craig McCracken, you are a wonderful person. <sighs> you are an amazing person. And I can't believe Disney did that to you. And I'm very sorry. I love your work. I grew up with your cartoons. You have been a very big inspiration on all of us. Uh, you've been a big inspiration on all of us wanderers. If you're in the Wander Over Yonder fan, we kind of have our own names called the Wanderers. It's kind of like the Brony fandom. They're called the Bronies, and we have Pegasisters. But in the Wander Over Yonder fandom, we're called Wanderers. And thank you so much, Mr. Craig, for all your hard work. Thank you, Disney, for everything. If it's possible, please don't give up. I, I just hope you didn't throw away your stories after hearing what Disney said to you guys. And all of you have been an inspiration, not on me, but a lot of your fans. You are a big inspiration, Mr. Kraken. Please, do not get rid of your ideas. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing of asking you to save... For everyone to save this show, because... We all love your work, Mr. McCracken. You are... You're just a big inspiration on a lot of us. I am a huge fan of your work. A lot of us are. Please, don't ever stop loving the draw. And I can't believe Disney did that to you, and I'm very sorry about that. I'm not trying to treat Disney like it's the bosses of Disney, like it's like they're the most terrible people ever. It's just, what's so bad about having another season? Gravity Falls has had at least five seasons. My Little Pony had five seasons with a bunch of episodes. and But yet, Wander Over Yonder, who is now starting to have a growing fan base, is now all of a sudden getting canceling. For what? Winning an Academy Award? For being an inspiration on a lot of people? I don't get that. I really don't get that. How can something as great as Wander V Yonder should be cancelled for that? <sighs> I really hope we can save this show. It's too early for me. It's too early to end. It's too soon. I can't... I can't think of how soon this show is going to end. I heard it was going to end at the end of June, and I I can't, I can't, no, I can't. Ugh, I can't. I really want to save this show. 
Guys, if you guys are following me, if you're a Wonder Over Yonder fan, please, we need to save this show. This show is a big inspiration on a lot of people. I mean, sure not everyone has to like it, but I feel like this show brings a lot of good creativity, a lot of really good positive side, and it's just such a good show. I love this show so much. Please. We need to save this show. Please. Let's... We need to spread the word. We need to save this show. Wanderers, we need to fight for this show. We need to fight for this show. I, I can't. I'm not ready for this show to end. Not now. There's so much potential to this show. Guys, we need... We need to do something about this, please. I beg of you. The fan base is growing even more than it ever did since the first episode. If more people get into the show and see what a great show Wander Over Yonder is, we wouldn't... Uh, please, guys, we need to save this show. Do not give up, Craig McCracken. If you didn't throw away your stories... And your information that you were planning for Season 3, don't throw it away. Please. You earned this. You worked hard for your show, Mr. McCracken. I am your full support. I may not be the biggest Wander Over Yonder fan or your biggest fan ever, but... You have been an inspiration. I'm sorry I keep saying that. But we need to save we need to save this show, guys. Please, we need to do this. This is Sonic Miku signing out.